It's not been a good afternoon for the Bucks. They've lost 3-1 at home to FC United of Manchester in the National League North this afternoon. And I have manager Gavin Cowan with me. Um, Gavin said you weren't sure, couldn't put your finger on what went wrong in that performance. Yeah, I think we were we were poor in the defensive transition. Um, I think we perhaps underestimated that they might, you know, they've got a bit more firepower than, than we thought. But I'm not sure whether the lads thought that, you know, FC United were going to roll over today. But, you know, we couldn't have been more clear about the fact that that wouldn't happen with the players. You know, there's the saying, isn't there, uh, a man with nothing is a very dangerous man, you know, and they've got a, a man with nothing to lose. And, and they've, they've got nothing to lose at this moment in time, you know, they're... They're fighting relegation. They're, they're right in there, and um, today they just and credit to them. You know, credit to them. They come and played with some freedom and um, no fear, um, and, and with a better side today in terms of you know hard work and desire, which is not something I can say very too often about my players. Sure. I mean, was it a surprise to you? I mean, you said that the first 20, 25 minutes or so that, that it was good. Things were looking bright, you know. Oh, I and then we were really good. We were completely in control, completely in control, and. Um, we had three or four chances where, you know, again, some of the, stri the strikers and some of the attacking players have got to be more accountable for not finishing chances now. You know, that's three or four chances where you, one of them goes in, you have a completely different day. But the mindset is that, you know, the opposition then start thinking, well, you know, there might be something there for us today and we might be in this, it might be our day. And then we just seem to sulk a little bit, is the truth. I felt like the players were a little bit sulky because it wasn't going their way and I didn't really understand that. But... Um, yeah, you can't you can't have that mentality. Ultimately, chances might not go in, but you've just got to keep persevering, stick to the script, trust that process as I always go on about, and, and make sure that you know you don't you don't deviate from that. And we did that a little bit. You know, the players were almost you know, throwing the toys out the pram when it, when when the ball wasn't going in the net. Sure. I mean, you kept an unchanged side from Tuesday night, and you know when the performance was generally good. I know you had sort of like felt it was a bit up and down at times. Um, was there any decision to make, really, in terms of the team selection? Not, not really. I think, um, again, I, I obviously I'm very, very particular about being focused on FC United of Manchester. Um, you know, and the preparation went, that went into that game was probably more than I've done in any other. Um, but yeah, thinking about it, you know, it's um, I, I'm, I'm always planning sort of four or five games ahead. You know, because obviously we've got the squad to be able to rotate and move around and. I felt it was the right team for today. I didn't think that, you know, I said to the players looking around the pitch, even at 2 3 nil down, all the numbers were right, everything was right. I just think it came down to, and it pains me to say that hard work and desire was, you know, was the thing missing. And that's probably only the second time I can say that this season. I think, when did I say that? Darlington away in the league, and then maybe Curzon away. They're the other two, two times. And again, I'd rather get beat on a team passing us off the pitch or sheer ability. But... You know, the, the one thing that kills me more than anything is the fact that we got beat from hard work and the other team having more design than us. But credit to FC United, you know, they, um, they bought their A game and I think maybe the players just thought they were going to roll them over and that, that certainly didn't happen. Sure. OK, I mean, that's an obvious question and one I think, you know, that will be asked to people might say, have, have, would, did some of the team have next week's semi-final in their minds, do you think? Or? Well, if, if they did, it's a complete lack of professionalism, you know. The first thing that happened when we beat Solio was we had a debrief at Lillishaw and... Um, I told them that no one was to speak about it. It's only me that has to worry about Leighton Orient and the weeks leading up to it. All the preparations, you know, have been going ahead brilliantly. The players haven't got to focus on that. It's something that's not shouldn't be in their mindset. So if they have, it's a complete lack of professionalism. I think more on today, there was like I say, we just lacked that desire and that hard work because we just thought it might just happen today. Mm -hmm. And that again that that's that's something I said to the players. They just seem to be waiting for someone else to do something, you know, waiting for that next player, waiting for your teammate to do it instead of scrabbing, grabbing it by the scruff of the neck. And that, that was disappointing also. Sure. No game on Tuesday, so there's no immediate chance to bounce back, is there? And I know that's something that you and, and the players themselves would have said that, you know, when, when they have a poor performance, that, that opportunity to, to put it right straight yeah, away. Yeah, we can't, we can't say that's happened too many times this season, Rich, can we? No, what no. I don't want to do is get too, too caught up on the, the emotion of this one game and this one result. But, I mean, let's have it right, you know. 95% 90, of the season, the players have been pretty, pretty brilliant, you yeah. know, and um, and that's what I said to him in there. But you know, we are perfectionists in the sense that look, you know, we want it to be to be better. We wanted the performance to be better. We obviously wanted the result to be better. Um, but I, and I don't want to get too caught up on the emotion of it, though. You know, we've been brilliant for a huge part of the season, and uh, and it would just be about the players' reactions now, be how they react. Like I just said on the radio there, you know, I want them to be really hurting. I want it to be 
I want them to be sick to their stomach and running it over in their brains over and over and over and over again tonight. But when they wake up tomorrow morning, I want them to be able to sort of picture me telling them that, look, you know, it's gone now, we've got to move on. And that's what men do, you know. I say when we sulked half, halfway through the first half, that's, that's not what men do. And I pride myself on having a changing room full of men. And what they need to do now is they need to bounce back and be men. And, and tomorrow morning, wake up, put it to one side and, and focus on, you know, making sure that individually and collectively they're, they're ready to take on what is probably, you know, the best team in, in non-league. Sure. I mean, it's a big challenge next week, isn't it? But, you know, you're confident that you've got the people in that dressing room who can respond to that. Yeah, you know, I'm, all, I'm always confident. I, I think, you know, we're, if we do bring that hard work, that desire, we do a job and a half, then I think we, you know, we can give anyone problems. It's, it's a big task that we're facing next week, but... You know, again, maybe that we're the FC United next week, and we've got we've got nothing to fear, and we've got we can play with courage and freedom because nothing's expected of us. You know, nothing was expected of FC United today, and all the all the expectation was on us, which is disappointing because I don't put any pressure on the players. There is no pressure. No one expected us to be outside the relegation zone this year. They expected us to be fighting for for our place in the league down the bottom. So there is no pressure. You know, we. We've achieved some brilliant things this season, and I want, but I want us to continue to do it, and that will come down to the mindset of the players. You know, like I say, we keep, we've given them all the information now, and we'll keep, we'll keep them topped up. But you know, they're going to need to take ownership of this now. Sure. So the message is: move on and look ahead. Take ownership, move on, and make sure you're ready for Leighton Orient, and that we, uh, we, we show Leighton Orient the best possible version of AFC Telford. Because I think if we do that, then we can cause them problems. Okay, that's great. Thanks for your time, Gavin. Much appreciated. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.